who's ready for a story. It is The Ring Bearer. Mama is having a wedding and Jackson is worried. What will it be like to call Bill dad and share stuff with Sophie, his new little sister? Things won't be the same around here anymore. Jackson has an important job at the wedding and he's not sure he can do it. Jackson's job is to take care of the rings. Bill walks by, pinching his hanky at the middle. He lifts it up, flips it, and folds it into his top pocket to sit like a pet bird. Jackson giggles, but he's still nervous. Mama's having a wedding, and Jackson has to carry the rings down the aisle. Why the droopy shoulders, Bill asks as he lifts Jackson high and makes him tall. Jackson smiles on Bill's shoulders, but inside he thinks Mama's having a wedding and I have to carry the rings, but I don't, but I don't want to trip in front of everyone and mess it all up. Maybe Bill should carry the rings. Paul Jackson walks over to little Sophie, who's busy counting flowers. Sophie has an important job too. She has to carry the flowers. Grandpa helps them practice, shows them how to walk down the aisle, slow and steady, the way you won't trip or that way you won't trip. Grandpop says like he knows just what's in Jackson's heart. But Jackson is worried anyway. The music starts and Sophie takes off. Grandpop nudges Jackson to get him going too. Jackson walks slow and steady while Sophie skips ahead, ignoring Grandpop's advice. Mama's having a wedding and Jackson has an important job to do. And no matter what Sophie does, he will not trip down the aisle. Jackson sees Sophie coming to a step, but Sophie only sees flowers. Oh no! Jackson rushes to Sophie just as she trips on the step and catches her before she falls. Jackson looks at Grandpa and Grandpa cheers Mama and Bill cheer too. The whole wedding cheers. They're all cheering for Jackson. Sophie smiles and grabs Jackson's hand. They walk together slow and steady the rest of the way. Sophie stands next to her dad and Jackson waits for his mama, who is coming down the aisle now with Grandpa by her side, looking like the prettiest lady in the whole church. Jackson sneaks a peek at Sophie, making sure she is still okay. When Mama gets to the end of the aisle, she bends down next to Jackson. You're a great big brother, Jack, she whispers. Sophie is lucky to have you around. Oh. Looking at Mama and Sophie and Bill and Grandpa, Jackson is not worried anymore. He's not nervous when he reaches into his pocket for the rings 
and he's not nervous when he gives them to Mama and Bill. And when the preacher finally says they're all a family now, Jackson knows deep in his heart that he doesn't have to be so nervous about important jobs. And he definitely doesn't have to be nervous about being a big brother. Oh. Mama got married and Jackson handled his job just right. The end. That was so good. 